Hello and welcome to Odd Man Out. Glad you're here with us. I'm Pastor Tim. Uh, today's devotion is entitled God's Compass, and our Bible reading comes to us from Psalm chapter er, 119, verse 105. It says, Your word is a lamp for my feet and a light for my path. It was during World War II that a small compass saved the lives of 27 sailors 300 miles off the coast of North Carolina. The SS Alcoa Guide was spotted by a German submarine, which eventually opened fire on the ship. The ship was hit, it caught fire, and began to sink. So the crew lowered compass-enabled lifeboats into the water, and they used those compasses to guide those boats toward known shipping lanes so that they could find their way closer to shore. Uh, and after three days, these men were rescued as a freight liner came through on one of those shipping lanes and picked them up. Well, our writer of this psalm reminds us as God's people that his word is as trustworthy as a compass. In fact, he likened it to a lamp, a lamp that we would carry in front of us to see where we're going. In that day, the flickering light cast by an olive oil lamp was only is bright enough to show a traveler his next step, maybe his next two steps, depending how bright a lamp he could get. So to the psalmist, God's word was such a lamp. It was just like that, that he could only provide enough light to see maybe one or two steps ahead. So when the psalmist was wandering in the dark, he believed that God, through the guidance of his holy word, would provide the right direction and the path in which to go. And that is true. Because when we lose our bearings in life, we can trust God, who would give us a trustworthy word and his light and his compass to guide our path. Not only through this life that we live, but also to guide us closer to him and closer to his son, Jesus Christ. So I hope if you ever feel yourself in a dark time, in a dark moment, that you would turn to the light of God's holy word and there find your way. We pray. Gracious God and Heavenly Father, we do thank you for the light of your word that guides us not only in this life, but also guides us to you through your Son, Jesus Christ, so we may have a life to come forever in your presence. What a glorious day that will be. We ask this all in your Son's holy name. Amen. All right, that's it today, gentlemen. Keep being odd, and we will see you again real soon. Have a blessed day in Christ.